So um, uh, what's important uh, right now? I'm looking at uh, the frame and spawn, and what is important to know, uh, like first thing, mm. uh, what I'm trying to notice being a freeman, if I have that siege uh, potentially that might give us uh, like plus four knowledge per the alliance, because uh, if you rush yeah. alliance with that siege early on and you ally with it, it's a great buff for eco, uh, and I mean for mm -hmm. knowledge and for all uh, development stacks. Um, I can see that Freeman has uh, like four stitchers around his uh, main base. Next, yeah. Basically, yeah. on the one hand, it, uh, it's good. I mean, uh, it's good only for uh, hegemony points because if he had, uh, if he has its uh, tier two uh, green tech, he can get a discount for annexing these territories. But he cannot use it to be aggressive against other players. So it's uh, uh, you it, need to get back onto the water when you're framing in this case, when you run Stilgar. Because here, like I can see, uh, he need also to take his uh, most uh, water region first, if you want to make a lot of alliance. Otherwise, you will be stuck. Uh, yes, or as Freeman, basically, you are even... Um, I see uh, Cream has the first spice territory with four water. Basically, you skip everything uh, under four water, for sure. Um, Interesting. So that's that's because he wants to make the alliances really quick, I assume. Uh, it's like a must uh, for Freeman, yeah, because uh, you really want to uh, have some of their alliances, which are good early games. There are some uh, other, like uh, like for uh, eco, for overall production, or for maintenance um, uh, alliances. For example, if you have a lot of uh, Harvesters, you can uh, boost your overall spice production. It's also very helpful. So yeah, <clears throat> you will boost your salt. Yeah, sure. yeah. This well, that's really important. And uh, okay, uh, let's look at other players. I, I, yes? I didn't see what tech a trade he's took. I thought he was uh, he's taking one of the blue ones. So he must be doing the three blue techs early game. Atreides is next house, is next to ECAS. So we got the two political fashions are, are, are like um, aside together, so I guess it's good for both of them. Mm, yeah, they could probably fend off Fremen if Fremen comes after them. Yes. Still don't know where Hark is on the map though. Uh, I guess Hark, yes. Um... The top right of them, actually. Yes, top right. Yeah, north, northeast, yeah. Right. Arkonen have a really good spoon. He can have free space field really quick. Mm -hmm. uh, guys, is everything all right with the sound from my uh, micro? Yes. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. I will you clear and loud. A little bit loud or what? No, no, that's no. normal. It's good. Okay, okay, that's fine. Oh. Uh, so, yes, sir. but I understand the choice for art radius uh, on the other hand with Ozir um, because, um, like, as uh, we all found out in this tournament, uh, this. Uh, uh, hegemony play with multi annexation um, uh, art radius is extremely strong, and uh, with Paul, oh, yeah. with Paul, you can uh, achieve uh, like in crazy amount authority. of uh, thirty yeah. production, like over twenty. Yeah, over twenty, and uh, yeah. so uh, if there would be some free uh, villagers on the map, uh, art radius is the one who will benefit most from He's gonna that. Snipe him. Yeah. But he, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping he. I'm, I'm looking for him to impress me because I'm not a big fan of taking Paul when Fremen's here. But I'm hoping to learn something from this. Maybe he can show me what I don't know. So far, it's pretty standard. Three troopers, one ranger. That's pretty much how I do mine. Uh, and he got one blue, one green, one orange. Uh, Interesting. Uh, uh, by the way, Fitz, why didn't you play Arthritis in this tournament? Uh, 
I remember you also played uh, before some art radius. Uh, yes, because here I was wanting to play all Vianus just to have fun and to to improve uh, this faction to uh, see where I can go with it. I see. It's like your personal challenge, right? <laughs> yes, it was a personal challenge. I see. I see. Um... Chris, you're you're a Fremen guy, right? That's like your main thing. You you really like the Fremen, right? Uh, yes, but uh, <laughs> now I put uh, Fremen a little away. No, oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, what does Mother Romala do again on Fremen? I completely forgot. Uh, Mother Romala. When you took Spicefield, yeah. So you would have um, Intel, uh, free Intel for each Spicefield you are harvesting in. And okay. you can also provoke rebellions in Lonstrad. Ah, yes, okay, okay. Yeah, and also after the last uh, update, you get uh, uh, authority production, like 0 0.5 probably per each uh, harvester. Harvester, okay, interesting. I'm assuming they have to be harvesting for you to get the authority, or is it just for every harvester you have on the map? Uh, they have to be harvesting. They have to be harvesting, okay. Uh, yeah, otherwise uh, it would be an exploit. Like, imagine you can just build a bunch of harvesters. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, I see Freeman has well of the Reachers uh, uh, in terms of special territories not far away. Uh, uh, when I was playing Freeman uh, last time, I achieved uh, 40 power with uh, Fedaikin. Uh, if I'm not wrong, it's like uh, artillery drone power. Like uh, on default. That's insane. Yeah. On Fedekin. Yeah, Fedekin. It's like uh, I That's use. That's insane, dude. Yeah, I lose. I use them like siege machines to kill <laughs> bases. You, you imagine like these big guys hitting <laughs> with forty power. Uh, Ooh. I don't think I'm looking at where Ekaz is, and Ekaz is going to be fighting Fremen. Well, I don't think Fremen can get the deep desert there because the, the territory is right next to him, but there is a deep desert that he could steal from Ekaz if he wants. And also, Fremen got free space field. But what I don't understand is why Ozninir doesn't go oh. for, look for the stitches. Hark has a great spawn in this game. Uh, yeah, let's look at uh, the Hark. Um, he's uh, he's far away from everyone. He's got all that territory plus the space cruiser. He he's living the good life. Uh, does he has feud feud or also for influence uh, gameplay? Uh, right. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, he's running um, Fade, and he's running. I can't remember the other guy's name. Yeah, Fade. This is really interesting. He's not playing with Peter, so he decided maybe to take him just to contest uh, somebody from winning in Governor, or maybe he even wants to be uh, Governor eligible as well. We will see. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, he's just allied uh, Harkonnen. Okay. Yeah, I see. Uh, did did they um, have some treaties also, or it's just the truth? Uh, yeah, with Atreides as well. And Atreides is also allying everyone in the game. He's allied with everyone now. We have a science for Arkonen from what they saw. Yep. He took science. I don't know what he got from Fremen. He got nothing from Ikaz. He's just an ally of Ikaz. Ikaz, I think, is in the top spot here. They're next to Atreides and Fremen on the north of them. They're in a bit of a tight spot now. Also, it seems a little tricky for him to get uh, easy sanctuaries. Yeah. It's the trickiest point for uh, if I was, he has. As I say, if I was him, I'd take the polar sink and make it a garden to prevent Atreides and Hark from getting it. Yes, but if it is, then it could be a target. Mm, true, true. Better he would just stay with her. Uh, with the spice field, and he just refused uh, the science pact. Yeah, he just uh, refused it. He he only wants the tree. Uh, at the beginning, Brandon, you asked about uh, these players, uh, like what what we know about them. Um, yeah. So, like, is this their strongest factions, or what's their story? 
Yeah, basically Krim, I believe he played uh, probably all games as Freeman in this tournament. Uh, so he's uh, very well familiar with it. And, with uh, Freeman, yeah. Yes. Uh, this, this, he's a Harkonnen guy, but he played a lot for Artredis. He, win a, he won a few matches. Also, he played Ikas, but uh, he's very good as Harkonnen. And, uh, uh, but what I also want to say here is that... Uh, I don't see these players like extremely aggressive uh, early on because normally they uh, won uh, their previous matches like with some hegemony spikes, with a little bit of politics, with uh, using opportunities which appear throughout the game and like with support, yeah. supporting it with strong eco, with like uh, solid, reliable gameplay. Uh, but uh, probably, no early rushes then. Uh, probably, I don't know, we can expect something like this from Krim here because uh, they have spawns really close with uh, Harkon as far as I, I, I see, at least not so far away. And uh, I think it's not a bad idea to Freeman to think about it, to, like to harass uh, Harkonnen a little bit earlier while he doesn't have his uh, insane main power production. But we will see. It's also a little bit tricky, dangerous, uh, but... Uh, uh, I was going to say, he knows that Hark's there now, and he knows where Ekaz is. I think he's he's first taking these sieges, but I think he's still trying to pick his target, who he wants to go for. Uh, yeah, in terms of sieges, uh, they are not going to help him a lot, as far as I saw. Let's check check it one yeah. more time, because he has most of the sieges close to his own main base. What's the, he's taking one, so this one must have something. Uh, he has taken well of the riches. Also, he is uh, uh, taking Mendu Valley. As far as Mendu Well, as far as I see now, it's second special uh, territory. Mm. But I guess I couldn't for now. He got a really good spoon here. Mm. He's been left all alone to himself. Yes, uh, Honey Freeman uh, can be aggressive early on him. Mm. So, he can build up his echo, uh, everything and, and be ready uh, for the mid game, late game. Mm -hmm. Very good for him. But also, Krim got a lot of region he can take. He's, it's really tricky finally for uh, Atreides and Ikaz. Yeah, they're right next to each other, which isn't very good. And also, he has still have not sanctuaries, but I guess uh... I don't think you need sanctuaries though. Well, it is nice to have them, but I think you can play Ikaz without sanctuaries. Uh, really, uh, I need two at least, and have my garden uh, placed near two sanctuaries just to have the good buff in science. Yeah, you always at least two. Yeah. So for me, it's mandatory. Like here, uh, the the region where. You build something. I would have uh, mm. put some uh, monuments, took the uh, solar region and put it at the sanctuary. Mm. He is also running that counselor who can abandon villages and get the authority back. Yes, yes. And also the sanctuaries now you can uh, collect the taxes or uh, a, a second uh, thing. So right. it, it's pretty interesting to have it. For influence mm. and the other thing, I don't remember what uh, is other outcome. Yeah, it uh, gives you influence and authority and experience. So my predictions is going to be uh, hegemony uh, uh, rush from Freeman. Uh, it's going to be like uh, calculated. Uh, Hegemony uh, competition between Harkon and uh, Freeman and Artredis, and uh, probably we can expect from John here also going for some uh, Garvano gameplay. Um, mm. Yeah, I, I, you're right on the Freeman because he's got the tech to let him build the um, the crafts workshops already. So he's definitely looking to get a huge hedge spike. Also, at this stage with uh, three spots region, uh, this can mm. try to do a trom rush. 
Yeah, he's got two specials as well. Yeah, he's definitely looking to go for Hedge. Maybe Hedge as backup because here he got really interest to go for Trom. Yeah. As uh, uh, Freeman uh, should be not a threat for him. He has, with the configuration here, not sure he can do really great in economy. So only at trades, uh, maybe you can contest him, but at this stage, he's negative. Is the trade is at negative? Hold on, let me go look at this. Yes. Ikus is also negative in terms of salary production right now. Yes, and Freeman too. Oh, wow. so you don't have the yellow people. tech they need. Three people are in negative at the moment. Uh, only this is at uh, positive, even if it's not uh, a lot for now, but uh, it will strengthen its uh, echo, I guess, pretty soon. Yeah. Atreides has too many units and not enough yellow tech researched. That's his problem. Yes, I think he's uh, afraid of other aggression. <laughs> he's afraid, yeah, he's afraid. Uh, by the way, guys, if you have... Look at all that. Ooh, Ark really does have all that territory. Like, I just looked over at Atreides. Across from him at the deep desert, that's where Ark is. Ark can take all of that territory. Yes. Uh, guys, if you have just joined uh, our, our channel here, uh, so it's uh, Dune Monthly uh, Grand Final. We have uh, Aziz as Harkonnen, Ozzy Niner as uh, Art Redis, John Drama as Ikus, and Cream as Freeman. So enjoy. It's going to be a really competitive and interesting match, I'm sure. Atreides is going to need to... My prediction is Atreides is going to try and peacefully annex a region on the opposite side of that deep desert. Or Cream's gonna have to fight her Conan. Yes, but maybe Cream uh, would want to take back the spice region that uh, Ikaz is want to take. Ikaz, is... oh, I gotta see this. Where is Ikaz doing that? Yes, he will took a spice region near to Cream, so maybe Cream might at a moment want Definitely to. gonna want that back. Going. Yes. And if it is, and actually start to expand uh, to the Arconen, it will be very tricky for him to defend against Ark. Yeah. I think Ekaz is going for the Polar Sync as well. I think he is doing what I predicted. Uh, I really don't go for it, really. He's too... I don't know, man. I see that. Ooh! Ikaz is going for a governor when he's got him. He's got the tech that lets him uh, keep a charter, and they can't run him off of it. I just saw. Yes, but to look at the situation, uh, he's too close to Atreides. Fremen uh, very close now to him. Mm. So if he go like that, he can be uh, really be three v one or two v one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, uh, Ikaz doesn't have the best spawn here for sure. He's kind of. Uh... He's sandwiched in between. Yeah, sandwiched between Art Radius. And there is a lot of space uh, between uh, Harkonnen and Art Radius. Uh, yeah. And he's going into a negative now. Yep, he's about to lose money. Yes. Yeah, because he rushed, really... he rushed that political art early on, and that's why it's so difficult for him. Mm. And yes, and that's why also having sanctuaries with a good tech uh, will bump up a little his economy. That is not mm -hmm. There we go. He's trying to fix his money problem now with that agent, but that's not going to help too much. And Krim started to spend a lot. How much authority is he generating a day? Still six. Still six, yes. Mm. Uh, I believe he uh, already has a lot of uh, feature alliances because uh, otherwise yeah, he's, got, he's got two. Two, two feature no, alliances. He's only got one. Uh, I... no, he's only got one. Yeah. Ah, interesting. Okay, he can it's, make a second it's one. It's already plus eight, uh, as we can see. Mm. And now he's starting to have a stable echo. Yeah, I think he's now getting ready to expand into Ikaz. Yes, and Ikaz is already... Ikaz is going to be in trouble. I, I think, like, uh, uh, these guys, uh, like, everybody is uh, experienced, and uh, they understand that uh, uh, the victory will 
uh, who, who will win this game, it will depend a lot on uh, the control over special villagers uh, in the end yeah. of the match. So uh, you need to be like close to these territories and to have an opportunity to spike uh, by annexing it or just benefit from uh, having them through your crafts workshops. Yeah. Which, I mean, Cream has already done. Like, he's already got the tech to get the cross workshop, so he's ready for that. Yeah. It's pretty he just much, hasn't built any yet. It's pretty mu much hegemony meta in Dune Spice Wars now with this uh, hegemony oh, 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 passive protection. Uh, Cream, Cream is messaging someone. I don't know if he's messaging uh, no, Conan no. or he's messaging Atreides. He wants to kick Ekaz out of the middle. He just messaged Ozenir. someone. here. He's messaging Ozinir. Yeah, he, he's yeah, messaging so he's Ar Atreides. Yeah, he wants to kick uh, Ikos, which makes sense, because uh, he's yeah, he sent to, uh, oh. to uh, Missile Battery to defend uh, Polar Sync and uh, the Spice region. Honestly, if I'm Atreides here, I don't want Ikaz to take too much damage, because right now Ikaz is technically acting as a buffer between me and Fremen. Uh, interesting. Uh, Artred is said that you can take Polar Sync. Uh, yeah. yeah. Strange choice. Uh, and he can take it now by, by free because we ha have that resolution with water subsidize. Yep. Yes, and everyone is a friend to everyone at this moment. The trades got voted for the economic boost. He should use that to get Foreman and everything he needs. Uh, do you have any predictions, guys, who will win today's uh, match? Oh, <laughs> I'm predicting it's going to be Hark or, or Fremen. Atreides, maybe, if he actually goes over to the other territories, which he is. I mean, he is expanding in that direction right now. But I don't think Ekaz is going to win. Uh, yes, he can't expand. He, he can't do anything. He's blocked. Yeah, yeah. and uh, so, uh, uh, Fitz, you also think so? Like, it's uh, is it Fremen or Hark? Oh, yeah. Sure. Yes, at the moment. Terminal hard, but I wouldn't count Atreides out because of the peaceful annex. Atreides can still be in the game. Because Ekaz, on yeah. the other hand, is in just such a tough position. I don't uh, know how they're going to come back from this. I, I, I see. I see that uh, there might be a scenario. Then uh, in late game, a Freeman can be can get two v one from Atreides and Harkonnen also because uh, he, mm, yeah, he that has... is also possible. He has already uh, captured the polar sink, like uh, the middle, uh, which is uh, very convenient to attack. Yes. I want to check. Yeah, uh, from oh. looking to attack Ekaz right there. I see, I see. Interesting. I wanted to check uh, Art Reddy's uh, authority production, but it seems he doesn't have, doesn't benefit a lot from his poll yet because his authority plus six so far. Yeah. See, that, that that's the thing I was going to say is because he needs to ally with Sieges, but half the Sieges are by Fremen and the ones nearby him, he has to like, because look at that, they're on the other side of the... Yeah. Okay, he, he has only, he he has only one basically territory to ally yeah. Uh, yeah, with that fuel a village. Yeah. But, so maybe he does have a chance, because I mean, this is forcing him to go to the other side of the deep desert to contest Harkonnen, so that is pretty good. The, the thing is, Krim uh, now uh, is really a little high uh, compared to the other in hegemony, so maybe that can benefit to Harkonnen. And Arconen is going to take, I guess, a fourth spice field. Mm. Cream is definitely looking to fight Ekaz there. But he knows he can't do it yet because his army's not ready. Yes, but it can be a mistake because uh, if he attack Ekaz and just uh, get him out of the game... Yeah, Ikaz too early if he attacks. Uh, ...goes only on him. He's already built some hedge buildings. He's built the cross workshops, so he's on eight passive at the moment. Uh, g guys say that the spice on the Harkonnen side is insane. Uh, I, we can already I'm see that. Uh, we can already see that this uh, has uh, three spices, which are really close to his main base. That's true, and mm -hmm. uh, there is a yeah, and he's going to take one more. 
Uh, uh, yeah, it's, I guess, yeah, he's really, he's really strong. I, I think he has even potential for like uh, for Chom, Chom. Chom, maybe, yeah, because uh, yeah. He, basically this is the guy who already won a game with Chom. Uh, yeah, he can definitely do it this game because Ikaz is poor, Atreides is struggling, and Fremen, Fremen might contest him, but I think he can definitely, with the oppression officers on there, he can definitely make a lot of money. Yeah, absolutely. And I look forward to see those interesting fights with uh, Executioner Cerberus' composition, like uh, how strong uh, they're going to be. Yes, against Freeman, against everybody, against Arthritis uh, also. Because uh, well, Arthritis, Arthritis is, is no actually, joke. Really, you know, you need to I was going to say, it's actually quite Arthritis. difficult. I was going to say, it's quite difficult for a trade uh, for them to beat Atreides now, because Atreides uh, is very strong with the army now. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. If you got the tech. If you have the tech. Like, I think it's Atreides or Ekaz with the strongest late game army if you have all the tech. Probably, yes. I don't have a lot of experience playing Ekaz, but uh, yeah, I, uh, judging by uh, the games where I play. The upgrades are really good. Mm. But now the plan for Ekaz, you will have to fight if you want something else. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Atreides is taking all the territory there. He's getting close to Hark. He is in the negative lands, lands right though, which isn't helping him. He's yeah, got but, below uh, the uh, yeah. He already has his uh, sixty-five CP, so he, he, yes, this is ready to go. Yes. So this can also uh, uh, use his positioning, like uh, trying to pillage as uh, much as possible all those neutral territories for potential hit. That's what he's doing now. Yeah, yeah, this is exactly what he's doing. And uh, yeah. I cannot imagine like he will be uh, 3v1 here or something because he is quite far away from other Too far away, main yeah. bases. I definitely think Ziz is gonna have a huge role in this. He's either he, I think he can walk away with this game, honestly. Because look at that, he's got the worm's nest to the south there as well. That's insane. Is it a worm nest over there? Yeah, it's right over there. Whoa. He can have five pass field. And here he, he, I would definitely go for Troom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. He has uh, Yeah, he's getting all the tech. Like he's good look at that, he's getting the three yellow. He's three yellow, go yeah, triple Trump. yellow. Yeah, here he, he understands can, everything. Uh he, he very well. he's it. two yellow, so three and two yellow. He's got two point eight K in the bank three. as well. I think he's the richest player out of everyone in the game right now. Yeah, he's richer than Cream. Yes, but Cream I also can uh, contest a little bit, but uh, I don't think um with again going further, he will. He, he, he can be able to contest him. Mm. But I guess also the tiebreaker here will be what the Ekaz is going to do. Yeah, what Ekaz and Atreides is going to do, I think. I wonder if Arthredis is already annexing that uh, warm nest uh, for himself. Uh, let me look at his stream, I'll see. I guess at the moment, uh, Ikaz and Atreides should uh, just uh, uh, ally together and try to put them down one yeah. by one. And then fight each other afterwards? Yes. Honestly, if I'm them, I would go for a creeper for Fremen first, because they're more of a threat. Atreides is not annexing the Worm's Nest right now. I see, I see. Yeah, he's probably disappointed a bit uh, with the siege position because he still doesn't benefit from his counselor. Yeah, see, that's uh, that's another thing with Paul. It's RNG. You got to be. You got to hope that you've got enough yeah. sieges nearby. Otherwise, you have to go get them. Yeah, I can see it by this game. Unfortunately, yes, that's true. I mean, Fremen got four sieges next to him, which is insane. That was he's got four like right next to. Him. Uh, basically, he could have taken uh, that uh, territory between Harkonnen and Freeman. I'm not sure if it's a good idea, but it has uh, a siege mm. and it's free. 
I don't think he sees that. I don't think he sees the seed ship. He doesn't know it's there. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's another problem. Um... Yeah, he doesn't see it. But he is going for the... Oh, no, is that... Yeah, he's going for that worm's nest. He's going for it. He's now peacefully annexing it, just as you said. He needs to... Hmm. He need, he's got his two spice fields, so at least his economy will be fine for a while. He has both boss Ikaz and uh, Atreides for now. Oh, Ikaz is starting to get a good echo, but I guess he goes as a lot of the Russian. Yeah, they are. They're coming back. Oh, fight between Ikaz and Fremen, yeah. But Ikaz should not go. No, he shouldn't. He's not going to win that fight. It's a neutral territory as well. I wouldn't even bother. But the problem also, it's just uh, close to his main base. Yeah, he knows he's not going to win that fight. But only pillage, so... Yeah, safe. so at least he's not taking it. Uh, Freeman, uh, spice production isn't uh, extremely good. He's just playing with uh, three uh, harvesters, and he has 100 spice production. <laughs> I, I would like to compare it with what uh, this is producing right now. Yeah, this has plus 265. It's like 3x uh, more, <laughs> three times more. Yeah, so show me the Yeah, and also he's playing with charm building, yes, and uh, I'm not sure about uh, Freeman at the moment. Yeah, he he doesn't have it. His uh, sale price two point five. He, he could he could benefit from that building a lot right now. I mean, he, I think he's too focused on Ekas at the moment. He's trying to think of a way to dislodge them. I'm not sure if. Uh... Cream has already bought some uh, some chum. Yeah, we need to, problem. to keep an eye on chum. I didn't also fix uh, how many uh, sh shares who has. Because I guess here for Ikaz, he needs to. He, he got a lot of buildings to do before going or seeking for chum. Mm. I was going to say uh, both Harkonnen and Fremen are 65 CP. Uh, it, it seems to me that uh, Freeman is. Uh, Killing the siege, right? Or... I can't um, see. Um, I think you might be right. No, no. no, he... no, no. Oh, oh, it's Renegade, 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 Renegade base. Okay, Renegade yeah. base. It's so huge. I don't think you would ever destroy a siege. I, I, I think, think you would ever destroy a siege just for a minute. I think Krim also got a low spice income, maybe because he's, uh, uh, I don't know how to say the word, uh, going for space guilds. Freeman so has he's fighting. Five... Uh, oh, so, sorry, this uh, just uh, fits. Uh, Freeman has 5% of uh, Chom shares, I just noticed. How much do the other factions have? Uh, somebody has 9%. I didn't fix if it's Art Redis or uh, Harkonnen. Maybe Hark. Only Harkonnen. But I, I think in this game, uh, uh, Freeman will pillage teachers. <laughs> it's my prediction. Maybe <laughs> they might have to. Because, yeah, uh, like too uh, much, uh, too strong uh, economies uh, from other players, and he will be, have to, I guess. Especially Hark. Look at that. Hark's got an insane economy right now. Yeah, so he's a, he got interest to also pillage the siege. Uh, if he got the yeah, oh, yeah, Hark has 9%. He's going to get 10% of charm in a second. Gee, look at that! He's able to sell all of his spice and not and still pay spice tax. That's insane. Yes, it's it's hard. Hard definitely, hard. Hard's definitely here to win. So, hard can definitely win this game through Chum. Wow, guys! Uh, so, uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, Art Redis has spice three spice uh, fields, but his uh, spice production is plus eighty five. It's even lower than Freeman, maybe because of just some um, sandstorms. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, one of his, one of his harvesters is isn't uh, harvesting. Oh, and yes. it's not full. Yeah, only one of his harvesters basically work, and that's why. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I also think it's because he's got he's got a big army and that's expensive. And also, he would have full space uh, for harvester. Yeah. Yeah, nearly. Yeah, honestly, we don't see, we don't know what buildings he has in his regions. He could have like a lot of military buildings. Yeah, he does. He's he's got a lot of science buildings as well.
16 knowledge. Yeah, in every village he's got. I was going to say, in every village he has, like, a red a recruitment center. Yes, and I, I guess he will start to be the siege. Mm. Yeah, Fremen, oh no, Ikaz voting for Judge of the Council. Okay. The Charter. In, yeah, uh... the Charter. Uh, Lens for standing points, we can see that uh, two players are going for like a higher Lens for standing position. It's Harkonnen and it's Ikas. And I start Ikas. thinking that uh, uh, like uh, this plan initially was about uh, going for this uh, Chom shares, probably. Uh, that's why he started with Embassy because it also gives him uh, gives him some uh, discounts for Chom price. Like mm. he already has uh, lens standing over 300, so he gets discount for uh, buying every single share already. I really wonder mm. why he doesn't go for. Uh, I, do. I don't know why he didn't take charge of the council there. Hmm. Very interesting. But now maybe he's, uh... is, he's going to try and keep the go like keep political or political in his back pocket while also charming at the same time. Yeah, that's what my initial uh, thought about his counselor, uh, Fade Rouser. I just saw the charm. I think he's not going to be able to do it. Yes, what happened? What's wrong? Atreides, Atreides has 7%, Fremen has 9%, Ekaz has 6%. And Harkonnen? Harkonnen has 10 but they, they noticed and they started buying charm now. Um, yeah, but, you know, uh, he can just... Uh, uh, like her economy can still be like overwhelming uh, over everybody else when they will start fighting, and we will see. Like, uh, yeah. but it's not going to be an easy eco win. That's that's uh, oh, yeah, nice. No. Nice to see. No, as a as a trim rate as uh, just uh, goes down, and he needs. That trade is just. Uh, I was gonna say, you know that seat you were talking about. Fremen, uh, the one Fremen saw, Atreides can't get it now. Hark just took it. Fremen has 15k hegemony there in the lead right now. With that. But Hark is not so far, so it's good for him. Yeah, Hark's close. Uh, does anybody have already? Uh, okay, a Freeman has plus eight uh, passive. It means it's one craft yeah. workshop somewhere he has. Yeah, it's in the policy. Uh, so potentially he has like at least three specials, as far as I can see. It's plus uh, 24. Yeah. And he's allied with two sieges. He cast controller for two, but he's allied with three sieges actually. And he's uh, just getting rid of one of his sanctuaries. And uh, I like the way uh, Harkonnen is expanding. He is also trying to limit uh, Freeman to. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a limit uh, to show him the limit of his expansion uh, mm -hmm. while having a lot of free uh, space uh, in his backyard. Yes, but this is starting to uh, go on him. So, yeah, yeah, they will uh, probably contest all of these territories with each other. He's also got to be careful, he's got a trade, he's in his backyard now as well. He's uh, Harkonnen is not lucky to have such a neighbor as for uh, Arthritis, <laughs> yeah, because he can just steal all those regions, yeah, who is like expanding like a virus. Mm. I need to I need to step away from my computer for a second, I'll be right back, okay, okay. So once again, he has uh, got struggled with his economy.
Il est d'autres évolueurs. Euh... Il est au Yeah, it looks like he didn't invest a lot into uh, Eco, although he had three spice fields. I guess also he's, he's commenting on the governor. Yeah, for sure. What is his influence production, by the way? He doesn't have any influence production at the moment. But uh, uh, probably Ikas doesn't need too much. Yes, he can get a lot of influence by building masterpieces and uh, can use I'm back. other ways of crafting influence. What did I miss? Uh, yeah. Nothing made yet. Okay. It's surprising to see a game without uh, Korean faction. <laughs> It's a rare thing it is, actually. nowadays. It is. I thought Vernus was going to be in here. Rebellious cunt. Unfortunately, they are too weak today. Uh, yeah, PMSEC. I, I think like Ikus has uh, the most unfortunate uh, spawn in this game. Like uh, between uh, mm. two crazy expansionist it's... factions like uh, Freeman Actions. and Arthritis. Although, I do think if they leave him for long enough and he gets an army, he can fight both Atreides and Fremen. Which, I mean, he is, doing. He is getting an army, even though his economy is not that great. If he do that, so that would be like to the economy. Yeah. It is tough for him. He's going to have to make a choice just now. Well, look at this. Uh, uh, Freeman uh, chose Shani over... Othim as his hero. Oh, hmm. So, um, interesting. Yeah, he's gonna look to ambush them. He's gonna look to ambush them then, because the stealth where they run around and they're invisible. Basically, she doesn't give stealth. Um, I mean, no, no, uh, but there's a tech that makes their unit stealth outside of combat. Uh, yeah, that's true, that's true. But his army composition, he doesn't have any single, uh, any stealth unit uh, yet, like uh, Infiltrator mm. or uh, Kulon Caravan, who can get this uh, stealth uh, gear. Mm. But yes, he can, of course, use hidden uh, tracks just to benefit from that uh, ambush um, skill. Mm. Also, maybe it's uh, just another way for him to craft some extra intel because uh, you get uh, extra intel uh, by killing uh, any units close to Shani. Mm. Arcana uh, should definitely win this vote. He should definitely take eyes of the council. Uh, I would go for him for uh, other thing. <laughs> yeah, no, there you I go. Would he go need... for village as a siege because you can stack up with the tech. And so you can have uh, insane income from uh, pillaging sieges. Oh, let's see what Z he chose to go script. for. He chose to put ah, everything in eyes of the council. He chose eyes of the council. Yeah. But trade is going to go for authority there. I knew it. Oh, Ekaz won it. Nobody went for private mandate. <laughs> no. Well, Atreides isn't going to pick it because Atreides needs those sieges. He's not going to pillage them. But now that means people will look at Ikaz. Yep, because Ikaz just took that, and you can't yeah. take them off of the charter. Yes, and with his position, uh, he can't hold. Yeah, he also has the counselor that has immunity, so you actually just can't remove him from Beanick from the charter he's taken. Yeah, it's one of the most annoying attacks <laughs> uh, in the game <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah. It's like Grace said, if Ikaz gets governor, you have to kill him, or else it's over. Hark has a lot of money saved up that he's not spending on show. He's probably waiting for a cheaper price. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I see he goes to uh, the Sliberate. And just to put uh, all the other monuments in the region. And so we try to pump up a little his authority. I see Art Redis is playing his uh, standard. Uh, yeah, he's offering journey. treaties to everyone. 
Uh, yes, and he oh, also Gurney. chose uh, Gurney, yes. Yep, Gurney with a bunch of rangers, that's the build. Trades also yeah. has the cross workshop which he's building now on on regions. So oh, okay, okay, it's uh, another timer uh, on the match. Yep, it's it's very dangerous when a does that though because they can still peacefully annex, so they can build even more hegemony. Yep, there we go. He's built another one. But you know what I want to say? Uh, I don't see like a fast uh, hegemony win in the nearest future because uh, everybody expanded, uh, maybe apart from Icarus, uh, well enough, and there would be not so much territory uh, in the late game to contest. Mm. And probably it will uh, really depend on uh, like passive hegemony and also who will benefit from the fights. Who has the most passive? Let me just look at that real quick. It's Arkunen. No, no, no. Because Cream has how many specials, but he hasn't built the cross workshop in them. He's only built one. Yeah, uh, Cream has plus eight right now. So, uh, yeah, we have all specials he can put a cross workshop in. He's just not doing it yet. He doesn't want to become a target. Harkonnen has plus 18. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but Cream has those hidden ones. That's what I'm trying to say. He can do it. He just hasn't. Yeah, and he already has 18 uh, K hegemony. Yeah, and he's also got those other regions which he can annex when everyone's busy. Yes, but Harkonnen also can take three of his region to go a little spy. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Harkonnen has the highest uh, potential for hegemony spike here as well. <laughs> Uh, so, interestingly enough, Cream is going to give Speaker to Atreides. Oh, where are they, like, uh, texting something to each other? Why, why would he do yeah, that? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at Cream. Yeah, Cream's texting to him. Yeah, that's, he's, he's telling him he'll give him Speaker because he doesn't want um, Ecas to have it. Yes, because if Ecas took it, uh, he will keep it for the rest of the game. Yeah, you can't take him off of it. Ikaz is going to win that vote, man. And if he's going to generate so much influence before that vote comes up. Interesting. Atreides is giving money to Fremen. The problem here, um, if uh, everyone gets their, their vote against Ikaz, you will not have it. So, mm. Atreides will, uh, will have it. So, Fremen just asked for 2.4k from Atreides. Is a trade he's going to give it to him? I th yeah, trade he's just gave him 2.4k. But maybe also the play for Ikaz is just to let the vote go uh, mm. and don't spend influence. Um, and wait for the government everyone. and then put that down. Yes. Very I don't know what he's doing. He's, he's helping Fremen, which is interesting. Uh, they are like probably natural allies. They have uh, different corners spawns. Mm, I think it's because he has is is that gov threat. They have to be careful about that. But if Conan can uh, just uh, try to to wait that a Freeman with our wall, and mm. then he can goes back uh, in his back and uh, right click on his base and try to mm. snap. And then uh, that means there will be a chumping bang. I like uh, Freeman influence production. It's plus 24. He definitely recognized uh, the governor threat. He's trying to catch up with the uh, uh, Lancerat gameplay. Uh, Harkonnen uh, influence production is not so huge. It's just plus. Uh, 14 and uh, let us see also what uh, Ikas has so far. Yeah, uh, Freeman has the highest influence production, guys. Imagine uh, right now. 24, yeah, 24. But I, I don't know if he can uh, support uh, charters. Uh, no, he can't. He, he can't can take charters, but he'll give them to other people. He's going to give it to Atreides. Yeah, he can vote. Yes, but I mean, the support, supporting them, because also to slow down the governorship, you can uh, spend all your influence on the other charters. Mm. 
But then at the same time, he needs to be careful because if he gives all of those to Atreides, Atreides will then become governor. Yes, but once again, Atreides is really close to uh, Ikaz. Mm. And Freeman can... Uh, Water sellers came up. Water sellers came up. I wonder who's going to get this one. Near Regs is going to be put on Ikaz. I 100% guarantee you. They can also rely on the Archon and, and uh, use uh, Corruption to slow down Ikaz. No, he didn't. He chose not to use the Corruption. Yeah, I think Ikaz will try to take... Oh, no. He he, he is not taking uh, Water Cellar or uh, Ikaz. Interesting. No, he wants to go uh, fast. You know, he's saving his influence for the speaker or governor vote. That's what he's doing. Yes, probably because his uh, influence production is uh, not so huge at the moment. We also get how it's the uh, we, we, we this consider, if, I, if I'm not wrong, we this consider he can also uh, not be eligible for a, a loss of flight. So he doesn't yeah, care. To the, uh, yeah. So you so can never take him off of those. You just need to have nobody else to be eligible to governor. Hmm. Yeah, you you actually just if he gets a governor, if he gets any charter, you just can't take it from him. It's impossible. Harkonnen <laughs> will be eligible for governor also quite soon. Mm, true. Sure. Ikaz so is definitely the furthest yeah. behind in hegemony right now. Uh, do you guys do you know the hero uh, of uh, John Ikas uh, faction? Yes, uh, hold on. Which one is he running? He's running. With, uh, he's running the woman, the, the the daughter, not the guy. Yes, he's trying to 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 get influence buff. Uh, I guess if mm -hmm. she's killed in this territory, uh -huh. uh, you she get responds, a doesn't she? Doesn't she respond if if she um if she killed in his territory? I don't remember. I, I do know that if you kill her, you lose lands red, though. Uh, so, uh, what is her skill? Like, uh, uh, Ikas gets influence when she's killed, or um, someone loses influence. No, 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 I, I know ooh, what, what's happening. Uh, they make yeah, a save uh, because of... Uh, lag. Yeah, uh, because of some lag, yeah, of probably. Wow. Yeah. No, they're doing it because Fremen couldn't use his uh, thump operation. Mm, okay, oh. so Okay. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Fremen struggling. <laughs> well, while we wait for that, uh, I'm going to take a quick drink. Okay. Let's make a beer. There we go. So Ziz. Fizz, sorry, Fizz. Mm -hmm. Who do you who do you want to win this match? Uh who I want to see wins this. Do you match? want to yeah, who do you want to see win? <laughs> uh I don't uh, have any. Um, I don't know. Uh, could be cream or this, because I'm I kind of want well the others. I want Ecas to win because they're in such a tough spot. I actually want to see them win. It'd be quite impressive. Uh, yes, but I guess it's uh, really hard for them. Oh yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It would be very entertaining if they can pull a win out of this. Uh, I wonder how much influ uh, how much influence can uh, influence production Icarus faction can achieve like with. Uh, Ooh, that's a good question. Potential. Because if he uh, if his main uh, source is building masterpieces, it's also another problem. He doesn't have a lot of villagers where to build them. Well, there's that tip that if you have a masterpiece, it generates one authority, one influence. There's the, not tech, sorry, it's the main base building. For every masterpiece on the planet, you get authority. 
is doing it right because the yeah. government is not generating a lot of authority, but this is what you don't need here because you can't expand. Yeah. Better to uh, place uh, in the agent uh, in other places. Uh, I mean, uh, in theory, he could try to expand like in that neutral territories over uh, arthritis, but uh, it's maybe late. it's too late. It's too late, yeah. And also, it could be taken by the uh, declaration of war. The problem for ICA is he can't do anything uh, economically speaking. He can't do anything in Germany, so his only win come here. Medical. We consider he can do only that. He does have 500 influence right now. Yes, he has not vote. And hope uh, that all the others will vote to try then mm. to steal the governor. Mm. But look, Krim got his uh, capital ship. I guess this can do it or already have it. Already have it. Yes, so in a, th in a three world can, but now. They are fighting. Yes. Uh, yeah, Freeman attacked uh, this, so he's go he wants to contest that special. He realized that he doesn't have enough of territory for mm -hmm. the late, late game. It's going to be hard because of the. I think Hart will win here. Yeah, Hart should win. Yeah, Fremen needs to run away now. Um, yeah, yeah. Hart's 100% going to win this fight. Yes, he just. Yeah, there's no way. No way Cream wins this one. And also, with uh, the buff uh, execution yeah. we have, that will be uh, like uh, invincible. Yeah. Yeah, look, look, Fremen's running now. He, he knows he can't win. But he Not to mention Hark's Overlord is also coming here now. Look at those executioners with the... Uh, Low health but high damage. The, the last piece of health, yeah. Yes, oh, the game's lagging. There is, there is no way he can kill them. Yeah, they're too tanky. Yeah, I knew it. He wasn't going to win that fight. Yeah. But now he started, a, he started a rivalry with Hark. Yeah. And I guess and this the tried operations. to have uh, on board with him. Mm. And so now Wikas can just uh, stay back and look and try to uh, sneak <laughs> Watch, his, yeah. his gov. Get his gov win. Ooh, Cream's going to try again. Or maybe also we can try to. Uh, I, I don't think he can, but uh, he will have interest to have someone be, being killed. Uh, mm -hmm. I I don't understand why uh, this is not using uh, scavenger team operation because he could get so much money here in these fights. M maybe he doesn't he have anything to think. The other ones. He, he got it, but maybe he, he had too many things to think about. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he just needs to get rid of that supply drop and swap it for that scavenger one that you said. Fremen immediately got out another army. That's impressive. Yes, and he has only, only can took popcorn and look uh, what is happening. Oh, yeah, I mean, he's starting to build his army. the show, then partake in it, you know? Yeah, Vivi Drews, we also were surprised to see that Harkonnen decided to play without Peter Counselor. He picked... Uh, the trade he's doing now, now that this is coming. Oh, 18k is this match. Germany, 18k Trades is not, is definitely coming back. Uh, Wait, Cream has 11k Hegemony, what happened? Oh, no, that's John, sorry, wrong person. <laughs> Where's Cream? So Cream has 19k, Atreides is about to have 18k. How much uh, does this have? Plus 28 the, passive for Atreides right now, by the way. Yeah, Atreides is busy expanding while they're fighting. Also, Atreides has Acid Lakes uh, free uh, in his backyard. Yeah. So he's yep. uh, also going to 
try to get uh, hegemony uh, win, which is uh, he, he basically has a lot of chances for it, like with his spawn and yeah. the, the number of specials. If if, if Hark ignores the tradies, he's going to win the game. No, but now look, Cream has activated uh, his uh, hegemony win con. And he has more potential to take back territories to... Yeah, he's got 43. So yeah, he's going to become a target now because now Atreides and Arconan is going to attack the Polar Sink. He's winning too quickly. Because we'd have to go with them. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if he goes at them, the more they fight, the more he can focus on his Govwin. Uh, there it is. Okay, he has taken it, and and, he, and Krim has plus four, fifty-four. Uh, Hegemony. He is not hiding a, oh, his oh, intentions guns up, guns up. anymore. Can he win it? Oh, no, he can't. Such a can have such, such a move. He he could not be easily be not. Uh, if like Freeman wanted, he could be not eligible for this, but he decided to be. Um, <laughs> he can, should not vote on this one and just wait the other turn and once again hope everyone will spend all his, their influence on this vote. Is he going to go for it though? Is he going to do it? He's thinking about it. Yes, he can have it, but then you just have to pull the vote. He's thinking about it. Yeah, he's going to give it to Fremen. Yep, there you go. He's giving it to Fremen. He's going to force everyone to attack him. Yes, and uh, John uh, Ika is doing well by not using his influence here. And now yeah. he has a support again. There you go, from his governor. Now they have to go fight him. Uh, they don't have, but they... Oh, by the way, they have, yes, because uh, next uh, voting it's going to be either Ika's or Freeman. And mm -hmm. if the Arcanon next, is not eligible... Ikas can have it the next because they have all spent their influence and Ikas are just wait. And he's completely up with his influence. Uh, mm -hmm. he, yes, but I mean, uh, they will have to vote for another uh, person, or probably there would be loss of rights, yeah. If there would be loss of rights... Uh, well, fine. if it's loss of rights, Ikas can avoid it. Yes. So that's why now uh, he got one shot here. It will be, I guess, his last... His only shot to, well, they need to the game. They need to attack the Polar Sink now in order to beat Fremen. Yes, he's preparing also to attack, yes. Yeah, Hark's attacking in the north. Look at, look at this Harkonnen oh. army, which is quite impressive. Uh, with a lot of mercs, uh, three Lancerat guards. Here comes the Fremen. Oh my god, what the hell? He just destroyed his army, what? Let's enjoy the fight. Uh, the Cerberus. Wow. We stand. Ah, the execution the is never die. Okay. Yes, the uh, executioner will never die. Mm. Uh, what composition is Freeman? Is Freeman going to lose this fight as well? Yeah, Freeman's going to lose this fight. Great play by Hark, honestly. Great play to him. But still, uh, Freeman managed to. This definitely knows what he's doing. Yes, yeah. this definitely knows what he's doing. Fremen has no army now. Uh, this really committed into this attack. Like he uh, went for like uh, four mercs yeah. and six Lancerat guards. Yeah. And uh... no, no, they weren't mercs. They were smugglers. He picked up the POIs. They were smugglers, snipers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those guys. It's also like mercs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ikaz is attacking. So it's the worst moment for Cream to be attacked. I told you he was winning. He was winning too quickly. He shouldn't have done it. In a way, yes, but in, uh, in the other hand, he got a lot of passive generation. So... Mm, but they're going to take two specials off of him. And he got a lot of region. He can go at the end for a spike. Mm. True, he does. But like they're stealing the polar sink, and he's probably going to take the observatory mountain off of him as well. And that run, they're really looking to like cripple him. Uh, so now it will depend on what it is. And Cream has no manpower. Yeah, I wonder if Arthritis wants to <laughs> attack Ikas right now, but... He shouldn't. He, he shouldn't sh do he that. Should, he shouldn't, I agree, I agree, yes, because... No, uh, I'll be, he go. be making a mistake. Second missile battery is going to be set up. So if Arthritis attacks, you might lose everything. But uh, Arthritis could go just liberate another special from Freeman, just using... Yeah, exactly, you um, could liberate... You could liberate Observatory Mountain, which is right next to Ecas. Yeah, exactly. 
Yeah, Cream overplayed his hand way too quickly. He was winning way too quickly. Uh, not a single eco building so far for Ecos. That's why he was struggling uh, in early mm. game with eco. Yes, but Somebody John building here, a nuke. I guess John here, Ecos can be governor. Yeah. Uh, so we will need to defend his land. 720 influence. Wow, that's interesting. You can go up to 100, 1,100 so, Guys, this is what I was t telling you. Like, uh, an only alternative here is Ikas. Uh, but if there would be lots of rights, it's fine, right? Oh, actually, yeah, actually, no, actually, no. not actually, actually not. Actually not. Actually not. It uh, will not be the deeper for it. So if you win the governor, he, yeah. will, not, he will not lose then uh, to the. Next on Strad, uh, he can't be eligible for a, uh, for a loss of right. He can avoid it. Yes, yeah, yes, uh, yes, I know. Uh, for Ikas, I mean, uh, what will happen now in six days? Uh, like, Freeman, uh, Ikas is only one eligible to be voted for governor. So, uh, so they have to vote him in. Yeah, so the voting be, will be like it's Freeman or it's Ikas. So, uh, they have to vote for uh, loss of rights, but they will never vote Freeman because he will win the game. Yeah, that's the problem. Also, they need the charts to be up at the moment. If the chart doesn't come up, they've lost uh, the game. It's the speaker that will pop up. But there would be loss of rice and speaker, and it's fine for them. Yeah, they better hope so. It, it, it always comes up it's, uh, if, it, uh, if you don't obstruct Ooh, it. Yeah, look speaker. at that. Atreides is in the lead for hegemony. Atreides out there I'm trying to win the game as well. Good man. Uh, let's look at his passive hegemony and compare it with what Freeman has, by the way. Art Radius has plus 28 and uh, Cream has uh, plus 33 yes. because he lost uh, one of his special. He, he lost two. No, he lost two. He, he, lost, two. he lost two, exactly, exactly, yeah. Because he's going to make the governor pop up. Mm. So if the other players doesn't uh, take attention, uh, it will pop up and I guess uh, he will have it. Even if it will be a little tricky. Mm -hmm. And but he can win it. They don't have enough votes. They don't have enough votes to stop him. Uh, maybe they maybe they could. No, they don't have enough votes. Uh, I guess they have. Look at Atreides. He got two. Atreides has four hundred. No, he has five hundred. Yeah, but Ikaz has like 800, 900. Yes, but uh, Cream got uh, 400. Yeah, uh, true. So they can outvote him. Well, I mean, they can't vote for Cream though, so they have to vote for him. Mm, indeed. <laughs> yeah, they have to vote for him. No way. And the, so, once he has it, they can't take him off of it. So they have to right click Ikaz. Yeah. Uh, they don't want uh, governor uh, charter to come up, ideally. But somebody they do. Oh. There it is. There it oh, is. Okay, arthritis. Okay, that's mm -hmm. solution. And not about right. If they they need to put ecas on it, but if they put ecas on it, I think the game's over. If they, if you can hold out, it's uh, his game. Surprisingly, sure surprisingly, no up. loss of rights uh, fits really. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can have loss of rights and governor come up at the same time, can you? Okay, you can have it. can. Oh, you can? Okay. Mm -hmm. you can. Atreides can also be eligible, but they're not going to vote Atreides. Ecas, put everything. Ecas, put everything. Honestly, dude, put everything. To go. Oh! Is there one to put He's make Atreides? He wants to give a trade easy. Uh, mm -hmm. Basically, yes, PMSEC, what he's saying, uh, like if Freeman would manage to uh, make another charter, uh, to upload another charter, he would be win with governor because there would be no governor uh, voting uh, this time and that's it. So I guess in Fortnite now for ECAS, the game is almost over. It was a, it's well, shot to I think they're going to ignore him now because Atreides has governor. I think they're going to ignore him because Eek has spent all of his votes on it. Yes, and then for the next vote, if it pop up, uh, they will vote for Freeman again. Mm. Just a ping pong game. 
Yeah, with yeah. 20 influence production, well, it's not if, such if a big he, story. If, if Ikaz is smart, he can save up to a thousand and then he can get it. The problem is not to be smart. The problem is that everyone mm. will avoid Ikaz uh, to have governor. Yeah, true. Oh, and, uh, Ikaz is going to war with the Atreides. If you look at the influence production, uh, they, I would vote him anyway, mm. every time now. I was going to say, Ikaz is attacking Atreides. He's, he's attacking him in Mount Idaho. He's, he's taking that special region. So, what Krimi is going to do? I guess I think the trade is could actually win this game. It will depend if he's lost, if he loses against uh, Ikaz. Mm. If he loses uh, his war against Ikaz, Ikaz can just uh, put down his hegemony. And so Krim and this... Well, no, I'm talking about Governor. Uh, if he saves up uh, his influence, he can uh, win Governor. Uh, let's see for the others. They, they will have more influence oh, he, than him. He cares fighting. Oh, he just... Uh, trade he's just lost control of his troops. Let's look at the strongest military factions in this patch. <laughs> How they are doing? Yeah, well, he just he he used the fog. Atreides' troops are just attacking whatever they got come across now. But I think Atreides is going to win this fight because Ikaz is too. He he attacked him and took too much damage from the missiles. Depends yeah. how yeah. do political treaties each other. Ikaz and Fremen with Arkonen. Mm. So Atreides now is going to be down. As now. <laughs> He's in war with everyone, and all the others are in peace. Mm. I think Fremen's gonna win then, unless Hark attacks him. But he has lost all his army. Let me go see what Ziz is doing. So, yes, well, I guess Ziz, it's gonna be very hard. Ziz still has all those judges and uh, smugglers. But so Hark can take a special region from Atreides. Mm. The problem is that they, need to, they need to be careful because Cream can get his hegemony back. Uh, this is also has uh, right now 500 authority, so he is at cap. I, I believe he uh, will want to t to go for multi cap at some point. Yeah, he's he's gonna cap something eventually. Maybe he just wants to take all uh, the rest of these uh, neutral territories with uh, this amount of authority, which is why he is not annexing uh, anything right now. Mm. Yes, and also pillage five times at least all region. Yeah. Uh, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, the only problem if Fartradius will take something, you never know what he is uh, up to. Uh, let's look at the Freeman right now. He's also taking Art Radius. Mm -hmm. So if Art Radius can't hold, so Freeman is, is in a good position. Yeah, Freeman can win if Harkonnen doesn't attack him. The problem now, he can't win with uh, Chome. Yeah, to this, needs to, this needs to start taking all these special regions away from Fremen. And Krim got the most passive, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Uh, how much CPs does Arthritis have right now? He, uh, did he lose? 65, but he only has 50. 50, 50? Yeah, so that's huge. Yeah, that's he only really got 50 out of it. Yeah. And there we go. Cream's capping a special region from him now. So Ziz and them need to do something. He will. He doesn't have a choice. He's kind of low on uh, manpower. He has 100. 
Okay, now he goes for Mercs and he's going to contest it. If I was him, I'd just steal the ones off of Fremen. Someone is preparing a nuke. It's Hark, he has a nuke. Mm -hmm. He has one ready. Interesting, so Atreides doesn't have any more influence and has been betrayed. Mm -hmm. Oh, betrayed by yes, by cream. And that's another reason I don't think you should pick Jessica when fighting Fremen. But he's actually doing, he's holding up, so you know, it's pretty good. Ziz is still pillaging regions instead of taking them. Very interesting. Yeah, he wants just to take them all at once. So once again, governor up. Well, there's only one person eligible. Oh, and now, uh, now we have a problem, guys. <laughs> now there's a problem. And, uh, now uh, they need to give it to ECAS. That's what I was afraid of uh, in the last voting. It happened uh, now. <laughs> As Eek has popped it around to all of them until none of them are eligible. So finally, <laughs> it's going to be wild. But Eek has, has no army, so even, even if he gets this, he's just going to get right clicked. Uh... No, they can't vote for Atreides, yes, for, of course, for Atreides, but uh, he should not be because Atreides doesn't have the lot of tending here. Probably. I don't know even. Uh... Uh, would you vote for yourself uh, here? I mean, <laughs> being I wouldn't. I'd let them vote. I'd let them vote. If I was Ekaz, I'd let them vote. <laughs> because they have to choose. They have to choose to give it to Atreides or me. Okay. I see it's not even a contest. Okay, John Drama, good luck. You can make it, man. Just good uh, luck, bro. tower defense. Uh, yeah, missile batteries. A lot missile of, batteries. A lot of missile batteries. Prepare, yeah. prepare all go. of your stuff. Let's go. Bunker, bunker yourself. Bunker yourself in. You're ready for oh, this. No, 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 man. He has 33 CP. You need to start recruiting something right now. Please. Oh, yeah. Please. Get your army in there now. John, come on, bro. You can win this. Eek has Atra suffering. Meanwhile, we were like, oh, they'll never be able to pull a Gavo in. Here they are. <laughs> Yes, because also a treaty just mess up a little. Mm. Oh, come on, John. Build an oh. army. <laughs> oh, no, no. Come on, dude. Break. Build an army. Please. Build an army. Yes, yes. Build them, build them, build them. Build the army. Build the army. Get that troop out there now. They are coming for you, dude. They are... Well, Fremen could try and... Still hedge win while they're busy. Uh, is Freeman still fighting with the uh, Arthritis, by the way? No, 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 no. Yes. Oh, he no, retreated. Not. Okay. Still, still fighting. You're sure? But Freeman can still hedge. Yeah. They're, still, the they're still fighting. He has the rally point in the siege and... They're all still fighting. No, no. It, it was just the wrong rally point positioning. Yeah, the issue is, uh, yes, uh, Krim betrayed, so uh, they can't uh, be in peace. They can't ally. To, to yes, they don't have the influence to get truce. Right. But, this uh, is... They, they this, this, and this is like standing on the territory. Uh, I was going to say, this is such a tough position. <laughs> this needs to take some territory from Krim and then go kill Ekaz, because if he doesn't, Krim wins the game. No, but now they, they need to kill Ikaz because uh, uh, I don't think we can have the time. If they if they go and kill Ikaz, right, then Cream's gonna Cream's not gonna commit everything. He's gonna go steal some regions. Cream's gonna win. Uh, Cream has like uh, uh, how many? Three non-special territories behind. It's uh, one point eight. Yeah, hegemony. It's not so huge. He, 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 he doesn't have it. Yet. Nobody, but, he, no, no, but he's, no. he's gonna trust me. He's gonna do it. He's just gonna find a way. Only by stealing something from uh, some special territories, from uh, mm. probably Ikas. Very... The clock is ticking, and it's ticking quick. Yeah, they need to do they something. Need to go to Ikas now. It's the like has no army. Let's check how John is doing. 
Uh, he got six no, missile batteries doing and more. He got missile batteries he's everywhere. Nazis got his artillery two during of the them. But just one missile battery everywhere, right? Not two. Oh, he, oh, he has border defense. He's got, he's he got, got, he's got, he's got two. two. He's got two in some regions. Oh, yeah, I see. That's huge. Yes, the bunker, the bunker. The bunker is almost set up, so that's why he's losing money. Now. Now. He's still losing money. He's okay, about to go in the negative. Okay, now yeah, everybody is moving. We they will this, just. Yeah, this, we have a, an issue here because uh, going by there, uh, he will have a problem with the missile batteries on the two region. Oh, very clever. Uh, he I used the uh, fog against I don't think he knows I don't think he knows. Oh, wait, no! The Hawks are attacking the Atreides, are they? It didn't no, work. No, 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 they're marching no, 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 no. He used a uh, fork and the polar thing, but I believe it was a little bit too late because the too, most... Too, I think it was too early because you need to attack something for that to trigger. Ah, really? Oh, I didn't know that. And he needs to be fighting something. That's why he didn't ah, lose control of his unit. I see, I see. Ikaz needs to make money now or he's going to start losing buildings. If you got shown chairs, you need to sell them now. Oh, oh, here they come, here they come. Yes, clever. But the missile batteries are doing heavy damage to these guys. It's going to be to be rough. But uh, Atreides... He should have used the fog there. He should have used the fog there while they were there. Oh, Atreides is going to lose everything. Arthur no, Atreides just... is going to lose, yeah, he's going to lose the supply. Uh, guys, imagine being an Arthurate is here and, and you just win by using uh, that operation uh, for peace, yeah, <laughs> for non-aggression. Yeah, ceasefire. <laughs> ceasefire, yeah. yeah. But yes, uh, I guess is Yeah, game. but he didn't do it. And now, this is, and now John's going to be able to defend himself. Come on, John, you need to kill the Fremen, you need to kill the Fremen! Oh, he's lost. Uh, Harkonnen is the highest, uh, the biggest threat here with his uh, damage uh, from uh, Cerberus's, from uh, executioners. Oh, yeah. He's done. He's not going to make it. No, yes. Too bad. It was a good play by him, but he's not going to make it. Oh, rest in peace. GG, John. That was GG, John. That was a close play. That was very close. That was a close play. He should have used the fog in his region when they attacked him, and they would have started attacking each other. Yeah, so yeah. Probably been... even when like your own missile turrets attacking uh, enemy uh, units, it still will work, right? Or maybe not. Well, the, yeah, yeah, but like the fog would have made Atreides and Harkonnen and Fremen fight each other because they all betrayed him. So he should have done that when they were all in there. Uh, but uh, the last command will work, right? Because if they just click the uh, to oh, his well, well, main it depends, base... because if he starts attacking them, they start breaking off sometimes, I think. But also, Atreides now can take a lot of region peacefully. So now it's... And now Fremen's going to die. Fremen's the next target. But Fremen has a lot of potential. He lost a lot of units to also supply uh, deficit, but he has uh, some territories, some specials. Uh, a lot which of specials to he take. can use, yeah, for the win. So Shark I... and Atreides need to now team up on Fremen, or else Fremen wins the game. The problem here is, this in, a, is in a tricky situation because. Uh... The trade is someone, it will be zero that, that will win instead of him. Mm. Uh, I think this, this is trade is and we need to team up. I think that this is just going to go for multi cap right now. Because mm. no, uh, he's still sitting on it could be not enough. Oh speaker comes up now. Yes, but it's too but oh but architectural surveys. They could kill Cream, they could kill him. You see, Hank has a nuke, right? If he uses the nuke with architectural surveys... And all faction got it. <laughs> but, uh... Yes, ah. we want to slow down authority. Uh, yeah. PM and with Juice, everybody's uh, playing so hard in Let's Lance Red, so it's going to be really hard to win in uh, with Tune Governorship. Uh, but... This, this managed to take <laughs> somehow the speaker. speaker. Yeah. And architectural surveys passed. Yes, for everyone. To for everyone. everyone to target. 
Yeah, now he's he has already. Already, he needs to start capping. He needs to start capping everything. Yeah, it's such a problem for Krim. Uh, he still got authority. Like mm. uh, uh, this will take now. Uh, okay, we we see Freeman already capping the special from special. Uh, yeah. Icos, and this will get like five territories now. It's six uh, k, three k hegemony. Yes, but it's not enough because uh, Krim will have a better. Uh, better region yes that's true uh, but uh, but he will be ahead in hegemony we, we will see yeah, but look we got also the uh the spice tax coming to easy yeah to i now. think creams won the game mm, let's check his uh, authority uh 260 okay uh probably he can take one or two more he can take the processing. So this is going to try and quadruple cap. He's trying to cap four. Uh, I, I think what he could do right now, uh, he has like water seller's point for authority. He could buy a few. Also, he could stop the, mm, his alliances with citrus. It would give him like mm -hmm. plus 15 uh, authority, probably 14. He's, maybe. He, needs to cap now. he needs to cap now. He's sitting at 500. I don't know why he's wasting it. He's waiting he for multi-cap. Come on, says cap it. Even if he cap it, he will be. Uh, He's trying uh, to cap five at the same time. He needs to do it now. Uh, this is pretty close to. Okay, this has 31 uh, charm. So it's going to be Come extremely on, tough for him to win with charm. Mm. Come on, Ziz. I believe in you. No, but it, it will be not enough. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately yes. Yeah. He needs like uh, one special at least, but he could go for Polar Sync. It's free right now. It's, you know, it's still being devastated or liberated or abandoned, whatever, because the guy died. Uh, I think the time has passed because uh, Arthredis is already taking one of. Uh, this is gonna, this is trying to capture territories. six regions. Of course. What is he, is of he course. Do that? He needs to cap him. Ziz, just cap him now. Your units keep dying, Ziz. You uh, need to cap them. No, uh, if he will take now, it it just he will get like twenty four uh, hegemony or twenty seven point five. It's like nothing. Uh, That's what I'm saying. He needs to cap it now and go fight Cream. I don't know why he's waiting. Probably, uh, yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, yeah it's over. Stacks, it will be over. It's over. Ziz, just cap the regions, man. It, uh, it depends because um, if they still have time to attack him and uh, decap them. Uh, and now Arthredis is also uh, taking the Polar Sync as a special. Yeah, because Atreides wants to so he, limit the Germany. Ziz, he also has a lot of chances. Ziz, your units are dying, Ziz. Uh, Every let... time he keeps sending these Cerberus in to die, Ziz, please capture these regions. Uh... <laughs> We we need to check if Arthred is uh, multi capping something with peaceful annexation. He still has acid legs behind, guys. Uh, with red. He still hasn't taken it. Yes, with that renegade base, which he basically Arthred can win it. You know, uh, he has uh, the same amount of authority as Freeman. He has uh, mm, a special behind, which is free, and uh, yes, but Freeman is going to do also uh, free cap. He needs to kill the renegade first. What's his passive versus Cream's passive? Cream has 43, Atreides has 42. Atreides could still come back from this. I guess not because uh, I don't think he got authority. Yeah, on... uh, Cream is going for double cap with non specials. And so that's it. Uh, he doesn't have uh, any more authority to oh. take anything else. He's, he's going to be like 27.6. It's mm. like it will be at the same amount. Oh, no, this is gonna nuke it. This is nuking that. He's gonna stop him. He, is he nuking non special? Yeah, he's nuking. He's nuking it. Uh, he's he, preventing cream from he, getting he, it. He might be still able to take it. If I would be cream, no. Can, you, yes. No, he didn't. He stopped it. Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, you just need to get your unit back. And if uh, that um, uh, progress didn't. Uh, wasn't cancelled, you can start annexing it. No, it's cancelled. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's too late. He cancelled it. He stopped it from happening. Yeah, in this case, yes. 
But if uh, you catch the right timing, you can just get your units back into under the circle of the village and you will keep uh, annexing after the nuke. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, he used the peaceful annexation in another territory. Okay, this is, come on, this. Uh, ceasefire. Uh, Arthred is using ceasefire. Okay, it's like yeah, he, he He's good man. Stop him. He Germany rush. Uh, in the end, he Germany race. I would say. He's gonna cap the special region. He's gonna cap like the the, the science one that he said. That makes trades. Arthred is yes, taking he's acid he's lakes. Yes, yeah. he's taking it, but... Uh, and he's peacefully annexing something else. He's also peacefully annexing something else. I think Atreides wins if Cream's if Cream doesn't get the tax in time. Mm, not sure about that. If he doesn't get the tax in time, I think Atreides wins here. Because if he takes acid lakes and the special, he's going to be ahead by Cream. Uh, this he can is... do a free cap at the end. He can do a free cap at the end, but uh, it's going to be tricky. Uh, three cap at the end. It's like two k hegemony, right, guys? And uh, it's also going to be. Oh, our trade is twenty nine k after the special. Uh, yeah. After the and then he's going to pull the cross and he's annexing something now. There we go. I think a trade is going to win this game. Yeah, probably. You're right. He's something else, but Green needs to do something. Uh, everything he needs to do, he needs just to stop that peaceful annexation and to take uh, one more territory by force. It's going to be faster. He can't, he it's in his own region. It's behind him, all the way by Atreides' main base. Cream can also take a region, though. There's one region he's left there. Oh, that's why I don't love like uh, this late game endings. It's so difficult to predict who will win. And uh... <laughs> I think it's going to be Atreides. I'm honest with you. I think it's going to be him. Yeah, probably. I, I also think so. At this stage, you can... Because uh, Cream's fighting Harkonnen. Cream's fighting Harkonnen up in the north there. It's Atreides. Even if you go for Atreides, yeah, now we're starting to be too late. Atreides. Atreides has won because he's peacefully annexing that region in the back. Wow, 29.8, uh, Freeman. He, he, he captures something else. So probably he will just win with passive. Uh, Freeman's won. No, not, yeah, passive. Freeman wins. Uh, well done. I, I told you, uh, Arthritis just to need to take something by force, but he still w w would be a little bit behind, uh, even after the mm -hmm. capture. Fremen can only capture two regions. Plus 18 passive. He can't capture any. He can't capture any, actually. For Freeman, and let's look at Atreides. Atreides. Yes, Atreides now, now, he's, can now, he's do, now he's doing it. He is taking by force. He cancelled peaceful annexation, and he's trying to take uh, one more territory close to his main base. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, I, don't think it's quick, but I think it's too late. It's it's difficult yes, it's to see late. it. Look at his stream because he's uh, it's so white. Um, let's look at the cream. Oh, it's it's finished. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, he should have started that uh, annexation by force instead of peaceful annexation a little bit earlier, and he would win. Oh, wow, Arthritis. Yeah, just you yeah, you, you should have started yeah. that earlier. <laughs> Ah, so close. Yeah, so close. Wow, that was really close. GG. To all the players. Dude. Oh my god. I'm unmuting the commentators. Yeah. That was close. Ah. You, you had such a rough spawn, John. My god, dude. That was very clever, John, to make everyone get governor and then bring it back to yourself. Oh, I should unmute the people, huh? Uh, good game, guys. Congra no, that was a good game. Good game. Congratulations. That was, a, that was a fun game, to be honest. Congrats, Cream. Uh, Thanks, yeah, guys. we'll play Cream. We'll play very, very close see everybody game. He was threatening and stuff. Uh, I first wanted to ask uh, Ozzy Niner, Art Redis, did you manage to take uh, the last territory peacefully, uh, I mean by force, the, the, the village that was close to your main base? 
Uh, I had to take it by force because I didn't have time to peacefully it. But but you you did take it and he still was a little bit behind. Uh, yeah, I was a little bit behind. Just like, a little bit. He was like less than a hundred behind, but the passive, yeah. I was watching it. I see, I see. So it was a matter of uh, passive hegemony generations and in the end. <laughs> yeah. The end, yeah. He, he won by like a minute, like less than a day. Yeah, it was like uh, 40 or 50 uh, hegemony difference between you guys. Also, Ozzy, that, that nuke was actually huge, like, pretty huge. That was from Fennin. I mean, that was because from Ziz. Like... Yeah, the, the, the nuke Ziz dropped made it so that you, like, you still had time to, like, make the play you did. No, like, no, no, had... no. I knew he was going to do it. That's why I left three villages, not two. Three. Right, well, that's yeah. what I mean. So, like, you could have had, you nearly, you were very close to having a triple cap, but then when you capped the two. I couldn't triple two, cap. I didn't have the authority for three. Or... I only had authority for two. Fremen suck at okay. spiking. The only reason they're yeah. kind of good is because they take more territory than everybody else, so they get more more hedge from the research center. Yeah, you got a lot of territory like early on, and then you just stop taking it. Uh, did you expect uh, John uh, to be uh, like a governor and that everybody will uh, try to kill you at that moment? Uh, was it like your intention or it just... Uh, oh, did I expect... Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, the play was... I mean, I saw very quickly... Well, one, I, you know, the counselors, I was like, let, let me try to make a gov play here. But also the way it worked out between Fremen and Atreides there kind of got boxed in. But yeah, I fully expected them to... Uh, yeah. yeah, I, I, I was through with... I was, trying to, I was trying to build the double missile turrets everywhere. And uh, Hardy we was saw, scared. We yeah, saw. had base killing. He melted my stuff. We were rooting yeah. for you. You were so close to do it. Uh, yeah, we I, yeah, I don't know how close I was, but uh, they coordinated well. And yeah, I tried it. What I did was I messed up my uh, my fog. I tried to like... You should have played it when they were in well, your no, so I tried to stop... Well, right, 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 but I tried to stop Hark at the pole as he was attacking because there were four missile turrets there and like a bunch of militia, and I was going to slow him down for three something. days. The problem was I dropped it before he was in combat, so it did nothing. Yeah, uh, he just yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, sh I should have waited for him to like attack the militia there and then drop it, and then he would have been stuck up there for three days, and I would have had to fight one v two, and then Atreides just died because he had no supply drop. Yeah, we were, we were rooting for you because you were the underdog. That was you were the plan. If I could have stopped hard with the fog at the pole, I think I had a chance there. But uh, oh yeah, I see. I have a question to this. Uh, this you here? Yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah. yeah uh, at the beginning, uh, it seemed to all of us that your spawn was so good. And it, it really it really was good because you had like four spice fields, uh, quite a lot of neutral territories. But uh, mm, maybe uh, it was uh, you didn't expect uh, the Icas player to die, and it's like uh, changed all the situation completely. Uh, what happened? Uh, like, w what do you think you did wrong? Maybe in the end, maybe you should have uh, contested something from Freeman before. Mm. Actually, yeah, the spawn was good for Chomvin because, yeah, I had four spice fields, but somehow I messed up my eco in the mid game. I didn't get it where. Uh, so, uh, actually, it was not a good spawn for Hedge play because I had only two special visions, and it was obvious that I need to attack someone from mid game. And uh, it was a mistake that I didn't attack anyone, played passive, and actually even lost uh, one special to Cream that I need to take back. But the, the huge mistake was the last nuke, no, not the last, the first nuke, because before it I still had 30% chom, and probably I could have a chance to win chom, but after nuke I just lost my win condition, and that, it was, that's all, actually. But I, I don't know how I messed up eco in the mid game, because with four spice fields, with oppressions, uh, I had not, like, really huge income somehow. Uh, I see, I see. Yeah, with two specials, it's like uh, almost impossible to win uh, hegemony, I guess. That's that's true. Well, oh, I, I, anyway, I was pretty close. Yeah, I mean, of course, uh, it was impossible to win, but if I had a little bit more time to take three regions that I had down my name, it's almost 2,300 hedge, and I will be around 29. But still, it's of course not enough because uh, other guys had uh, more than enough free territories to cap. They, they were they died. were closer to my yeah, to my yeah, territory. Yeah. That was to your left of the territories. Yeah. Yeah. 
And uh, I noticed that's that... the first thing Cream did. I think was take a special from like from where I used to have one. Yeah, yeah where you had Sanctuary, John. Like he could take the territory right away yeah, 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 after yeah. this. And I was like, yeah, yeah, but I knew immediately. Like I was not going to be in the hedge. I mean, I guess I could have like gone workshops and like I had one special and like I could have used champions, but that wasn't going to be the. I think my only play was Gov there. So uh, okay, uh, fee feeds, uh, Brandon. Uh, what questions do you have, guys? Uh, okay, I already asked John my question. No, no, I don't really have any question because uh, I saw what the pre have done. Uh, no, no question. Okay, I but, have uh, a, I have a question to Cream. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 you got it. You do yours first. Okay. Uh, Oh, we were watching your uh, fights with Harkonnen and we're discussing uh, like uh, their current uh, strengths of factions. Uh, uh, you managed somehow to take first that special, then you lost it. Uh, do you feel like Harkonnen overpowered, uh, like uh, much stronger now in combat, or it was a pretty good balance, it, or it's uh, quite good balance right now? Uh, okay, so. The only reason that I was able to win that fight was because I put gear regulations on him. And then my whole plan was, if you were watching, when I wormed in there, I attacked the sandfall and then I moved into the next region and I needed him to drop his operations, yes. not in the sandfall. Yes, yes. So I, we saw I had that. to run out. I had to run out. And then I still <laughs> lost, but I was able to reinforce from the siege to the left. That kind of helped. But in short, the answer to your question is yes, the Harkonnen army will win in, in a straight-up 1v1 fight with operations. The Harkonnen army cannot lose right now. And I don't know if it's too strong. There's always going to be somebody that's the strongest, I guess. It would just be nice to see if Shiro can possibly make it so that you can make some kind of gear-specific change or some kind of composition-specific change uh, when you're dealing, when you know you're dealing with, with a certain faction to be able to win a fight on any faction versus anybody. But as it stands right now, yeah, the Harkonnen army is super strong, super overpowered, especially with operations, and they can't be beaten, and it's really annoying. Okay, okay, I get your point. Go ahead, Brandon. Ziz, how come you didn't uh, capture all those regions? Why were you letting your Cerberus keep dying on them? I'm very curious about that one. Uh, no, I kept in the end. Yeah, because I was. Yeah, you did in the end, but like there was a while where you kept letting your Cerberus sit on there, and they were just dying. I don't know why because, they were dying. Of course, because I noticed noticed it's it's too late. I forgot about this uh, stupid shit the, that uh, red, fluid red fluid, yeah, yeah, that yeah red yeah. fluid killing your yeah. Cerberus. Oh, was, that's what killed It's easy to for, it's easy to forget. Yeah. Yeah, and I just forgot about it, and I was like, what the fuck, where's my units? I thought maybe I misclicked or something like this, and only mm -hmm. <laughs> in very late moments I, I noticed that I have, like, no half of my army. Half of my army was empty, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then I understood, actually, that because of Red Fluid, I lost all my Cerberus that I tried to... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and this, uh, I remember you played uh, with Yakin, you fought in this tournament, maybe uh, when you, uh, when was a match, when you were fighting uh, against uh, Angelair, when he was Arthur Edis, and now you picked uh, Raban, so, uh, so you still think Raban is better for that uh, army composition, Raban right? is, is, is better for economy win, just because you'll have one more militia that will, uh, so you will have plus five. Uh, production and also without this uh, militia from Raban uh, when you oppress your spice fields uh, it's taking too much time uh, for militia to kill rebels and Raban really helps actually yeah. to kill these rebels faster so I uh, actually I, yeah I thought that no I expected that maybe I will not be lucky with specials so I decided that then my second win condition will be Chom that's why I decided, uh, and, and when I actually saw the spawn, that I have only two specials. No, and third special was also close, but it was already contested by Atreides. So I understood that actually I will have only two specials this game, so I definitely need to go into Ica. And that's why I decided to play Raban. Uh, his yeah. ability is also pretty good. For yeah, it's, killing it's pretty, base, it's for killing good. for killing bases too. I was like, uh, or at least it seems like it is, because what they just lock in on, 
on the target and they get like extra damage, right? Yeah. I don't know how exactly how it works, but but probably probably Nifut also could be a really good choice because yeah. right now I'm thinking maybe my you know, huge mistake was not about the nuke that I no no the nuke was a mistake I shouldn't nuke cream because with this I just lost my win condition and actually did nothing with this nuke uh, because it wasn't final spike where like everyone one second away from winning or something so my nuke was just absolutely stupid. Uh, because I lost all my rats, one rat standing, and uh, my chom shares become uh, well, the cost of shares become really high, so I shouldn't nuke. Uh, but even without this nuke, I don't know. Probably I will not reach 50% chom in this game. Yeah. How much uh, did you so get up to? I didn't even see it then. How much did you have? No, uh, before nuke, I, I had something like, I think, 29, no, around 30%. Okay. Uh, yeah. I saw you had 31 at some point, I'm not sure. Yeah, no, maybe, maybe maybe 31, so something like this, yeah. So probably maybe I, I had chance, but small. The best play was to take Nifut and try to kill someone, because actually Nifut really helps. No, because uh, you just uh, can uh, sp spam your um, Cerberus and Executioners. Like, you already have uh, two days for recruitment, and with Nifut you also receive like 50% back of your main power. And it's actually pretty easy with Hark to kill anyone with Nifut. Like, you, you just can send wave after wave after wave after wave, and sooner or later you will kill someone. And... Uh, Probably it should be Cream. I should focus Cream and kill him. And actually, uh, it will be then much easier for me to win Chom. It will be much easier for me to win Hedge Money. So yeah, like uh, yeah, maybe it was a bad play to decide uh, to play passive in this game. Problem is, problem is, if you had killed somebody early, um, it, I I think it would have been much easier for me to get Gov off yeah. and through. Um, I mean, it's like, you know, no guarantee, but I, I, no. Cause if cream, I kill cream, cream, is cream. Kind of influence too. I yeah, I mean, if I killed cream, then I think uh, a trade is you and me. Actually, we will we, we all had pretty good influence production, so we could ju we could just shuffle this government from one to another. No, well, same. Actually, mm. cream didn't have uh, huge influence production. I had 400 votes at one point. He had like 400, 500, 500 at one point. Uh, yeah. Basically, uh, no, uh, guys, I, I can tell you, uh, we noticed that uh, uh, Cream has the highest uh, influence production at some point. He mm. had plus 24 influence yeah. per day. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, <laughs> He just doesn't all, have the, all, like, all, the base votes. So. Yeah, and all of you guys, you had like plus 12 or plus 14. Uh, I, yeah. I, I checked it. <laughs> well, I, like, so when I, when I do this normally, I try to have three sanctuaries touching my garden you uh, didn't get you only got one and i have one sanction i only had one possible i mean i could i guess i could have done other stuff but uh because every masterpiece um in the surrounding area of your garden gives point was it point two influence production um, mm. and so i could fill up the master the sanctuaries with five a piece and then all the other territories touching it but that was the original plan but yeah my influence production wasn't great but it worked out to where like they had to, they basically had to put me in. But you know, it, it might be such a clever threat. You put other players in the position when they have to vote for you, and they cannot. Uh, yeah, that was, so that, was your the, that, that wasn't the original plan, but it became the plan. I was like, okay, yeah, and I was like thinking about it. I was like, wait, they I have knew to vote it. Me. By the way, yeah, I, I was yeah, saying it in the first vote. He was in a blender for like two minutes there, dude. Was I was like, saying it. He the was first attacking vote. a tradies, and he was like, wait, we gotta kill him. When oh. the first vote came up, I was like, dude, this. no matter how many times we shuffle this around, we're going to have to end up killing yeah, gonna get it. <laughs> and um, I said, I said, once Ekaz gets something, you cannot take him off of it. Cream, why uh, why did you lose eligibility? That's what, I wanted to ask the tradies that as well. I didn't, tradies understand. I didn't understand. I mean, it worked out great for me because it, like, it made it so that there was no other option but giving it to me. But... Um... But I don't know how you yeah, lost eligibility. Uh, right? Atreides, how did you lose that as well? I'm curious. Well, Atreides no, dropped no in Landsrad somehow. I, I thought I thought I had plenty of Landsrad. I don't know you why. Did get for, I did you, you did get uh, it at one point. So how did you lose it afterwards? Did you, did you betray did someone? Did Duncan die? And you re-recruited uh, him? Duncan did die, but... No. Did you re-recruit him? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. So then maybe did you betray someone? Did you betray Ekaz? Did you try and kill him or like... Uh, no, I didn't. So I don't why did it drop off? Hmm. 
Interesting. Yeah. I did spice I stacks. Explain it either. Oh, maybe. I don't think I missed spice stacks. I I had I had like three four harvesters and worms dust. I'm just curious because you had it, so I don't know like Whoa. what happened. To it. How many people? The whole call goes silent. Why did uh, how many what? I, I was rooting for you, John, because you were in such a tough spot, sandwiched Thanks, between Brandon. criminal and traders. Uh, yeah, I was... Uh, uh, I I'm surprised you didn't try to fight me over that spice field and special. I didn't need that. I had three spice. I was also going to say, the fact that you lost your army as you got governor was really... I was, like, really annoyed for you. I was like, worst oh, time yeah, to well, lose your army. I didn't really even expect to... Yeah, I mean, I got the army back. It wasn't perfect or anything, but I don't. Th any army I had there, I don't think, was going to... Well, I, I was literally it's screaming. I was like, please build the missile turrets, please, because yeah. we saw oh, you on Karina. Yeah. And then I tried to kill the rebellion immediately when Kareem put it down. So the yeah, that would have helped if you up. killed that rebellion. Maybe maybe if I used the fog, like on the main base. I had, like, yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. If you used it, the thing is, they were all right clicking the, the base. Anyways. Attacked each other. Well, they were all right clicking the base anyway, so they just would have kept doing that. And like, like my army would have stayed up. How many my, army, my army stayed up for the most part. It was just like, how many defense damage did we use? I used one. Did anybody Dude, it was melting. I don't think it would have mattered. No, I didn't use So we only had one breaches on it. Yeah, but Hark. But Hark's executioner is just scoper. With uh, uh, Robin and the executioners. Okay, Ozzy, you died immediately. You didn't have a supply. Drop. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah no I, supply. I forgot about that. that but... Ozzy was oh, throwing, dude. But, but he buffed my executioners even more. <laughs> oh, true. Yeah, they died. <laughs> oh, those kind of stacks, dude. Damn, dude. Yeah. Because I did like my army never really even got super focused. I, I don't think there's anything I could have done that there was just too much damage coming in. That was. Uh, well, I think what you should have done is you should have attacked the Harkonnen army before it got to your region. Well, so, I, so the plan, it that's why I just, so I use the cream. I don't know if you saw this, but I, and actually, I'm looking at this screenshot, and it looks like my missiles were hitting his troops when I dropped. But I think they have to attack something. I think they, they have, have to attack, to attack something. something. So the yeah. plan was because there's four missile turrets up there where Hark was running through. I dropped the fog up there to stop him we for saw. three days to throw off your worm timing so I could fight you and Atreides and then he would be getting beat up by the missiles. Um and then I could like, you know, address him and then it would just like stagger the 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 dive. But well, if you beat the fog, the fog didn't work, he just like re yeah. I was gonna say, if you uh, beat them, they would have won the game. Hark would take too long to get back. Yeah, yeah. Atreides would but take too long to hold up. That was the, and Cream had no manpower. So interesting. So Every... their units have to attack first, and then the fog has to go down. Is that? Yeah. Okay. You should have sacrificed something. You should have just thrown something in there, thrown in the fog, and then watch him like stand there for the rest of the for the rest of the Yeah, fight. I just didn't. Yeah, it's just my fault. I didn't understand that so, aspect guys... of it. Congrats to Cream, by the way. Good job oh, winning the game. Congrats, uh, yeah, congrats uh, again. Well played. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Very, very well played. Can, can, yeah, I, uh, can, I say, can I say one thing? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck <laughs> 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 you. What's up, no, no. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Pamsek. Yeah. Can, yeah, what, yeah, yeah. What do you want to say? No, there, there was more... Su I just want to say, I want to congratulate uh, Green for his win. And uh, he has 44, uh, 44 people signed up. 44 people signed up, but 44 matches is uh, due monthly, by far the most uh, competitive uh, up to now. That's cool. It was great to see the, this match. Uh, this match was uh, very chaotic. I don't think it was the best match. No, I th probably not. I think, there were, I think there were two better ones uh, in this uh, June monthly. But uh, this one was uh, that's quite funny to see, and I, I really like that uh, <laughs> more people uh, when I, more people watch it, more people play it, and I think uh, most important for myself, I think the the, the meta has also improved, so it's not uh, only uh, dumb strategies. So the more people actually playing better. <laughs>